Hey guys, um, what if instead of, what if instead of, uh, uh, what if instead of raising canes, it was, uh, raising came, like came, like, uh, like come. <sighs> what? Super Bowl, Super Bowl, gotta have me my Super Bowl. I just hope the ref is fair. I just hope the ref is fair. Super Bowl, Super Bowl, I'm about to smash this Super Bowl. Do you guys really not think my jokes are funny anymore? Shut up, bitch. The Rams Bro, won the shut Super up. Bowl. Yeehaw. Let's go, Cowboys. Yes. Yeah. Football, Football baby. Football. Woo. I love America. They got in the, the pigs big, get around and the basketball. Y'all win any money? Sports. I didn't bet. I did not win any money. I didn't. Did you bet lose money? I will say, no. I'm totally ready to invest in crypto. <laughs> that was the dumbest money. fucking ad I've ever seen in my life. The QR code. The fucking one? QR code. It was smart, but like, it was definitely what smart. What the fuck? <laughs> my mom. It was really like, smart, but she screamed. She was like, "Oh, what is this?" <laughs> Came in, <laughs> and I'm like, "What?" I'm like, "Did you like uh, change the blue channel?" For probably like, yeah. I was like, <laughs> high, I was like all happening? for it. As soon as I saw the Coinbase like logo on the, like the bottom, I was like, oh my god. And was it there at the entire commercial? No, it just the at the right? end, yeah. like it like popped in the very end. I was like, boom. oh, Coinbase, of course. Yeah, well, I was I was like watching it, and at first I didn't care because I was like, ooh, that's the funny little, uh, it's gonna hit the corner thing, and then it finally hit the corner, and I was like, yeah, and all my excitement went away as soon as I read Coinbase.com. I kept going. Yeah, I mean, every, friends were like, yeah, every, yeah. <laughs> Every single ad, like at least fifty percent of the ads, were either crypto investing or gambling. Bro, I hate to say it, but it's guys, the same thing, Luke. You just I think I enjoyed the. Times. I think I enjoyed the game <laughs> more than the the ads. That's never come out of my mouth before ever. I enjoyed this. Yeah, Super the Bowl ads fucking game. blew this year, man. That game was yeah. that game was like intense. It was pretty good. This is like the one time of the year I'm okay too, with like commercials like being shilled to me because like i don't know they do stuff they're interesting so with bad, them most though. of the time they're so bad like well half of them were crypto they were in, so, in, like in one general was literally making fucking elon musk go to the moon jokes did you remember that fucking jackson there was one of them where they very subtly was like you I can invest to that. the moon and it showed a fucking doge dog. i saw one it was like, like, one of those uh, it was like a commercial for a car or something it was like no gimmicks, no vo no voiceover. I was just no about bullshit, to say that one. No Mars missions, and I'm like, whoa, yeah, making no, statements. It was it was like an electric car, and I was like, we're and not I'm like, Tesla. So I'm we're, like, bitch, I don't even know who you good. are. Fuck you. We're not <laughs> Tesla. Like, you're a corporation. We're, you yeah. suck. Like, <laughs> literally, like you're not good. Uh, the, we're the actually were so different. Bad. Actually, we don't. What, what if it was like? What if it was like we haven't been on Joe Rogan and we didn't smoke a blunt on Joe Rogan? <laughs> we weren't. We... Fucking awesome on Joe Rogan smoking hella weed. <laughs> <laughs> we were we were actually so dumb actually, and we, we just don't like Let we pills. don't like having fun. We're actually we're actually really cringe, and we actually don't Ooh. smoke weed. And we're actually like great really weak jawlines, and we're actually like... <laughs> we have horribly weak jawlines. Speaking of uh, black belt, <laughs> speaking fu speaking of horribly boring, uh, that halftime show, I right, guys. Pill. Yeah, the halftime show God was. Damn, um, that halftime show was garbage. Really rough. Was so Actually, good. racist. First of all, can I just say? <laughs> did, did you guys see? No, the Eminem one? was the, there. The... Oh yeah, you're right, you're right. Did you did, did you guys see the tweet that, that Charlie Kirk made that I I quoted? Yes, no. that was I. He made see, this tweet. I quote, he retweeted made this tweet. it at first, and then I was like, ah, don't, I don't. Really I just don't. I don't know who it is. Deal with this. I don't know who that is. He, it's, he's 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 a conservative commentator, and he, and he was like. It's disgusting how this is what television has come to. It's so racist. Like he was talking about black people on television. And then, disgusting. And so, and having so, fun. <laughs> boo. Having fun. And so I, I, um, I quote tweeted it and I just said, "No bitches." And I was no, like, no. <laughs> what he said, he no was bitches. calling it sexual anarchy on television because a girl's That's thigh what it was. showed it was up sexual for five anarchy. seconds. Bro, did they, did he watch last year's? Wait, no, not last year's. The one before that with Shakira and Jennifer Lopez. And the one with that Janet was Jackson, anarchy. where her full boob was out. That was not her <laughs> like, fault, bro. Forget about that. Wait, who did that? It wasn't that was her fault, but it still right? happened. Justin was, Timberlake. Yeah, it was, yeah it was Justin Timberlake ripped her fucking shit off. Uh, Justin Timberlake was like, ah. 
Uh, I'm sorry. That's, uh, not, that's not funny. It's fucked that he did that, but like it's a little it's a little bit funny though. Like some like a little bit funny. There's nothing funny Justin about that. Justin Timberlake. Jackson. Justin Timberlake. What? Do you remember when he like brought out like the fucking Prince hologram? What about that? Prince hologram. No. Wait, Do when did that happen? That? Wasn't it Prince? When was found that? A, found a dollar. Or was it Michael found Jackson? A dead or was it Michael found Jackson? A dollar in the woods. They should add Keemstar. I might have been Michael Jackson. Happen, so. I think. It was one of them, yeah. I found a know. dollar in the woods, and found I'm feeling so dollar. goddamn good. We should have Keemstar for Let me tell y'all this story. Let me tell y'all this story. Yo, here's my proposition. All right, for- all right wait. You go, then okay. I go. Okay, here's my proposition for the Super Bowl halftime show. Okay, this is my proposition. Get rid of Eminem. Get rid of 50 Cent. And you should have just had it be Mary J. Blige, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, and Kendrick Lamar. No, just get rid of just get rid nothing. of everyone except Fifty for, Cent was a surprise. Though. That, was like all, thing. that was like one of those where it's like yeah, but like he, I don't like, like Fifty Cent, and also his, he brought no energy. I saw like, it, and I was like, cool, oh damn, was like, he supposed he to perform? Himself brought no energy. I just was. I was like, oh damn, was he supposed to perform? Shit, all right, whatever. Like it, I just I was empty that entire halftime show. Just so bad. I just and said, Kendrick I just at least said, two more songs. Kendrick Lamar, I was excited for. I was like, oh shit, this is the first time he's performed in like a hot minute, and maybe he he was the best part of the entire oh, performance. Dude, he did um, he did great. Yeah, he the did camera totally work amazing. was so cool too. How it was just it was, like it was really cool. He had yeah, a, that he had was fucking. Uh, I don't know how they did that shit. He only performed the beginning of Mad City and then did all right. I was sh- I thought he was just gonna do humble. I was DA. shocked he did all right. Yeah. Same. I just I was hoping for some new stuff, but that was me getting my hopes too high. <laughs> too my f- friend, my friend next to me that loves uh, Kendrick, like uh, got hyped up because at the very end he started rapping a song, and he was like, "Oh my god, it's a new song!" And then it went into Eminem, and he was like, "Fuck!" And I was like, "Dude, he wasn't rapping a new song. He was just rapping Eminem's part of like the Eminem song yeah, to of the... fade into Eminem." Forgot about Dre. That's a good song too. Like I, I like that was that's a very good song. Yeah, yeah I'm happy Dre. Eminem. Like we were, I was joking before about how I wished Eminem Born. did the Bornana song, but I'm happy oh, he did man. like his good song from Eight Mile, like because that's yeah, a banger. Same. It's a banger. Uh, it's the funny mom spaghetti yeah, song. Yeah, that is a so all the yeah. all the teenagers like the pog phase. But I remember that from but guys, the memes. I gotta know what is your what is your nightmare Super Bowl halftime show? What is the nightmare, nightmare. halftime show? Okay, Imagine Morrissey. Dragons. Ah, dude, can't do it like that. <laughs> That's, that's, we can. We definitely can. <laughs> Shouldn't. All right, let okay. me think of a better one. I'm, let me think of a better one. I, I'm, I'm going to go with Morrissey, Ed Sheeran, um, Morrissey, Ed Sheeran, um, uh, Tom McDonald, <laughs> and then a guest, and then a, and then a guest appearance from... Um, Iggy Azalea. I'm saying, I'm saying it's a solo performance from Tom McDonald, but he performs, he performs two songs. He performs Fake Woke, and then immediately after he performs If I Was Black, and then the remaining (laughs) 10 minutes of the performance is just him complaining about how everyone wants to cancel him and how... The society hates it's him. It's just spo- did- spoken word. No, <laughs> no, it's, no, it's, no, it's not Kanye even spoken word. He just tour. he says cut the mic and he just yeah. It's, it's, it's Kanye, Kanye on the Yeezus tour. It's Donald. like a very hype piano behind it with auto tune. He's just like every, yeah. every, 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 I don't know. But it's but it's Tom McDonald and he's like, yeah. and he's like man they they call me controversial they call me controversial and everyone in the stands is like you know what the real n word no. is knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even the word. That's such. That would totally be a bar. He would say though. That's that's like literally a fucking Tom McDonald. If Tom Tom McDonald uses that, I'm gonna sue him. I will. I will fucking send my lawyer. Because that is so hilariously stupid. He might say it. Knowledge. (laughs) You know what the real (laughs) word is? Knowledge. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck, dude. Oh shit. That's so good. Gentlemen, this no, halftime was, show I, is dog shit, and Super Bowl is pretty good. Shout out to the Rams for squeaking it. I thought the halftime in the show very end. was all right. I thought yeah. it was pretty good. I, gave it three I thought the weekend no was way better. Oh, the my God. performance was Compared better. Compared to astronomical. Oh, my God. Not even in the same map. Like, because he made Everyone, it interesting. Yeah, no, literally. 
Ever, see, I everyone I talked to was like the weekend's performance was kind of mid, and I was like, did you not see all the alternate versions of Abel on the field dancing to blinded lights or blinding lights? And then he like went inside and the fucking crazy camera like fisheye angle. That was so and stuff. cool. That was so it's cool. because he took advantage of the the pandemic. How he, they couldn't have a lot of people there, so he was like. Well, fuck it. I'll just, like, run around the empty arena. And I was like, that's epic. That's great. It was what he yeah. should have done. Yeah. I will say, there have been a lot of Super Bowl performances. A lot of them. There will never like be a 50. better Super Bowl performance. Almost like 50. There will never be a better Super Bowl performance than Prince. Like, they're just... They never saw it. It rained during Purple Rain. I don't know. I thought... He did, um... purple... He did purple Rain, and before he went on, he said... He said, like, it's going to rain during my performance. Like, I'm calling it right now. And he fucking went on, and he started playing Purple Rain, and it fucking rained. And it was, it's literally just him on stage, like, ripping into his fucking guitar. It's, like, pouring rain everywhere. Ripping into his ass. And the purple lights are everywhere, so the rain looks like it's, on, it's, like, it looks like it's actually purple. Oh, I it's thought, so, um, it's such a good performance. I thought that the best performance was, uh, gosh, what was it? I, I'm, like, trying to remember it. Uh, fucking... Um, the five, uh, like the minute long, uh, Travis Scott, uh, sicko mode performance. In That's SpongeBob. All the other artists. Yeah. But o- only, only the intro. Everyone thought <laughs> it was going to be <laughs> every, as soon as uh, that was the most disappointing thing of all time. Everyone thought he was going to go on and do the fucking funny, um, like sweet victory moment, but no, they just introed for sicko mode. They should have, they should have, man. I know we're not supposed to talk about Gus Johnson, but he did a fucking really funny video when that shit happened, where it was, like, him and Eddie Burback and, like, his brother, and they were, like, all dressed up in suits, and they're supposed to be, like, the guys running the Super Bowl, and they were, like, Oh, I saw that video. a great idea. That was a great fucking idea. Everyone, literally, everybody wants this to bust to play this video. It would hurt nobody. Nobody would be confused. This would be a massive moment for us. Big marketing opportunity. No one would be against this. We already have the rights. And then, the, and I think it's Eddie goes, or... We just don't do it. <laughs> and then they're like, yeah. It's like, well, like, there was, there was literally nothing going on. Now wrong. look what happened and to Travis. This is wild. That's karma. Yeah. That is karma. That, it was, it's the First Super Bowl spot those people died. <laughs> Billy apologized. <laughs> Apologize, yeah, Billy. Billy Eilish. Apologize, <laughs> yo. I picked a great time to follow Kanye on Instagram. Like, goddamn, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, wow. Holy shit. Dude, dude, did you see a... the fucking Civil War meme oh, that he posted? Dude, that I want this. I want this. This like screenshot archive because I'm pretty sure I screenshot within the first like five seconds of it going up. So like, many <laughs> memes already. Awesome. Kanye holding the fucking like notebook saying he's not hacked. I caught. So I caught yeah, it he's not hacked. from that. I caught it at seven so... at seven hundred likes. That's why I caught it at. I'm proud of myself. Did you see this the one where really it's like Venom? Like... Did you see the one where it's like Venom, like like uh, the fucking Venom movie? Bro, he's deleting all his shit. Yeah, Kanye. He is. Also, yeah. Th- 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 this is more than anything. This is just really fucking embarrassing. Like for him and his kids, no. dude. He's just uh... like you, like you have kids, man. Like, what are you doing? He's like going through like a big like divorced dad arc, and it's like re- it's like really bad. Again, it's like really like, bad. I I, f- I feel for him because I know how like bipolar is. So like I, I like I do, but like, I want to shit on him. But to like, give him a reality check. I guess. But also, something. but also he he delivered a black truck that said my vision is crystal clear with a thing of roses on valentine's day to his ex-wife's house it's weird (laughs) it is really weird it is really weird i i will say i will say him calling pete davidson skeet davidson is fucking hilarious (laughs) what the fuck is happening like that's funny he posted a photo of this dude strangling this other dude, and then the guy I being saw strangled. That, yeah. The guy being strangled. He tagged Kim Kardashian, and then he said, "Upon my wife's request, please nobody do anything physical, physical to Skeet. I'm going to handle the situation myself." And it's like a real text from her saying, "You are creating." Kanye, a dangerous he has like the ins- same. <laughs> he has like it's the like, same fucking um energy as people who were like yeah like drop me into ukraine i'll deal the handles myself like like shit like that where he's like you're not gonna do anything like she's gone also 
What the fuck is is Ju like? Is he still with Julia Fox? No, like I think they broke up. They broke up. I think like literally today. <laughs> okay, this might be controversial, but uh -oh. Julia Fox is leagues ahead of Kim Kardashian, and they're not even in the same ballpark. I think I, just uh, think I can't comment. Attractive. I'm sorry. Georgia Georgia Ellery wipes. <laughs> Georgia Ellery jocks. We <laughs> <laughs> are. It's the monkey. I saw, I saw me Robert bomb, bomb, I hate bomb. I'm about to say the sentence, but I was on Reddit and I saw uh, <laughs> like Yeah, I know. I it was like one of those news things and it was like Kanye West. <laughs> Who's the guy that does who runs uh Saturday Night Live? What's his name? Colin Jost? Like is that No, I, the guy who runs it. Is it like no, no, Michael? No, no. You something? mean like the guy who's in charge? I think so. No, I know exactly who you're talking about. Hold on, I, I know I know his name. It's it's Michael something. I remember Norm McDonald called him out because he like fired him from the show. It's Michael Lauren Michaels. Lauren Michaels. Lauren Michaels. Lauren Michaels. And I'm pretty sure I saw a thing where it was like Kanye West offered Lauren Michaels double his salary to fire Pete Davidson so he would not have to look at him. And that's what the headline was. Lauren Michaels doesn't need the fucking like, money. How baller would that be if he actually did it? <laughs> he was just like, yeah, fuck this guy. I want Could him you off imagine? TV. Fuck it. It's like yeah, if honest, you were watching Pete Breaking Davidson, Bad and you were like. Davidson. You watch it Breaking Bad, and you're like, fucking the dad from Malcolm in the Middle. Get him the fuck out of here. I hate him. Uh, <laughs> you do you guys, do, do, you guys even think Pete, do you guys even think Pete Davidson's, like, that funny? Like, be honest. I, yeah, I, I, I do think that stand up. His stand-up was okay. The one where He's, he's all right. I just think he's, like, oh, on, he's on SNL, right. I do not think he's funny. No, no, no he's not funny on SNL. But it's his stand-up, his stand-up's really funny. Huh. His stand-up's, like, all right. Cool. I think you suck. <laughs> Bro, I I don't understand why everyone thinks Pete Davidson's so hot. I don't get it. I don't. But he has a personality. That's why. Bro, like, but still, like, I, I don't my get mom, it. My mom has this term, where, 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 or I guess not this term, but she always says this, like, whenever, like, really ugly people get with really attractive people, where it's like, if, he, if Pete Davidson was working as, like, a plumber, like, he could not pull Kim Kardashian. Like... Like it's just the truth. Like you couldn't. Like you. This, like, you just this couldn't. is a public statement to everyone. With, like, if you think that you are unattractive, just be funny, and you will get women. I will promise you that. Or the other way around. If you're, extremely if you're a woman, rich. you can get men. Or oh, and that is that's true. <laughs> Make a movie about yourself. Yeah, and call it the King of Jake, Staten Island. And I watched he that named movie. Pete Davidson. Yeah, wasn't that bad. Just be Pete Davidson, you fucking idiot. Be Pete Davidson, um, and for some reason, every woman will love you. Jake, if I put a fucking gun to your head right now and I said, I'm going to pull the trigger if you don't get a tattoo right now, what tattoo are you going to get? Or are you going to let me kill you? Uh, If I had to get a tattoo... Damn. It's a personal thing. I don't want to say it on this podcast. I don't want it immortalized, but I will. I do have an idea. Jackson, what tattoo do you want to get? No, I want to wait, wait, wait. Okay, but you have to give me a answer. It doesn't have to be the, like your number one, but I want to hear an answer from Jake. I thought this was just an excuse to of. lead into the thing that was drawn on your arm. I thought that was what that was. <laughs> no, no, I know. We don't even know. I was just curious. We don't even talk about that. Oh, I just okay. like boom, I was just boom, like, strangely. I, was just curious. Boom, boom. I want to get fucking Stevo's face tattooed on my back. <laughs> Dude, could you imagine? That'd be so that'd fucking. Be that'd be awesome. Could that'd you imagine sick. meeting meeting Stevo and be like, wait a minute. Check no, all right. Let's first of all, that it would be cool. Check this out. It would be cool because so back. many people have already <laughs> done it. Literally, so many people have already done it. But I want to do. Sivo had this really good idea that I think he said when he was homeless after the first season of Jackass, he was like, "This is how I legitimately made a thousand dollars in a bar." Like he'd go to different bars, he'd go up to someone and he'd like just talk with them, and then he's like, "Oh, what's your name?" He's like, "Oh, my name is uh, uh my name is." J Jevin, my name is Jevin. It's some weird name. And he's like, oh no way! I have I have your name tattooed on my ass. He's like, you have my name tattooed. He's like, yeah, I have your name tattooed on my ass. He's like, no way. He's like, I'll bet you fifty bucks that I have your name tattooed on my ass. And he's like, all right, fine. He, they put the money down. He pulls down his pants, and the tattoo just says your name, and then he makes fifty bucks because he said I have <laughs> your pretty, name tattooed on my ass, and that's it's pretty, pretty smart. Clutter. It's a good way to get your ass kicked, though. 
<laughs> no, dude. It's Steve-O. <laughs> so if, take... <laughs> if you were, like, crack, if oh, you yeah, cracked out heroin Steve-O and shit like that. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Have you guys seen Jackass yeah, Forever yet? No, I haven't. I want my dad. Saw, my dad saw it and said he loved it. Said it was fucking really? hilarious. I gotta watch it. I gotta watch yeah. it with the boys though. That's true. That's Jackass movie movie Forever. For sure. That's a movie for the boys. Welcome back to the Good Enough Podcast, where we talk about all things boys <sighs> and men. Boys when they see Jackass be like, <laughs> boys yeah, and men. yeah, yeah. Girls when they see Jackass be like, oh, this is gr- uh, this is gr- where's the makeup. Where's guys, the makeup, where's the and, makeup the and the dogs. perfume? Guys, legend has it there was a woman on the set <laughs> the of Jackass perfume. Forever. <laughs> Boys, wow. whenever they see Jackass Forever, hey, I like this movie. Girls, whenever they see Jackass Forever, hey, where the heck are the p- princesses and Barbie dolls? Am I right? <laughs> so true. Fuck, I, so I want to say something, but I'm trying to work on my public image just in case future if, hires if see I got, videos. <laughs> if I go <laughs> <or> screen myself. <laughs> If I got a tattoo, I would probably get, I've said this before, but I'd probably get it on my back, like in really big font, it would say Daddy's Little Girl on Comic Sans. Daddy, Daddy's Little Cum Slut, as it would say. That should go right And then right, <laughs> and then right Yeah, you can say right, that, your future employers won't care about that. <laughs> well, you're not going to be taking your give shirt a, off at work. Yeah. What? I'm gonna I'm gonna give Luca a, a solace album cover tramp stamp. Just a big old fucking Just pink, pink square right above. You know what? Ass. You know what? You know what? Screw screw tattoos. You know what I want? I want to get fucking uh, what do you call it when you get like a hot metal and you put it branded. Like, I want to be I want to be branded. Be branded. Yeah. branded? <laughs> what, what I want to get a brand. brand? What, 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 C four eighteen. <laughs> no, no, it's gonna say C14. it's gonna say twenty twenty. It's gonna say twenty twenty one. Uh, best character GEP. <laughs> no, it's gonna say that's a big uh, one. That's one's gonna, it's gonna say twenty twenty two Super Bowl champions Bengals. <laughs> <laughs> Bengals. Those Bengals. people that get the Dude. tattoos before they find out the winner. That is the funniest oh, shit so ever. I, I am. So, I'm actually so. I'm gonna complain about this because like. People love the Bengals here because Cincinnati is pretty much an hour away from Lexington. So we're pretty. That's pretty much our team in Kentucky is the Bengals, and I swear to God, there are so many fucking people that do not know anything about football, but they just love Joe Burrow. So that's all they care about is fucking Joe Burrow, even though he barely did anything in the game. Barely did anything. Yo, shout out to what's and his people. Name? Shout out to Odell Beckham Jr. He was. I like. Until he got I hurt. like. I like Joe True. Burrow, but every single non-football fan is like, oh, I like Joe Burrow. That's a cool guy. He listens to Kid Cudi before games. What awesome. I like that. <laughs> I <laughs> I um I I made a discovery that yesterday, last night, about what New England is. I didn't know what New England was, but now I know what New England is. It's the opposite of old. What did England. you th- what did you what did you think it was? I thought it was a city. Well, what is it? Explain to the camera. What is it? It's New not England? a city. Okay, here's what here, this is stupid because if, 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 if someone says, I'm from New England, that could mean so many fucking things because apparently New it's England an area. is like every state above New York. Yeah. New, the New England. Why colonies, would you need bro. a name for that? The New why England would you need a name for that? Do you that's remember? Like being like, oh, that's like being when the, thir- like, oh, when the yeah. thirteen colonies were around. You had the southern colonies, you had the middle colonies, and then you had the New England colonies, bro. New England. Like it's so because it's new I just, and I, it's old. Too England confusing. was across the ocean. Was across the ocean where they were making fucking tea crumpets and fucking harsh. Be- like, okay, not a single if drop I say, of freedom. If I say there. the West None. Coast. If I say if I say the wet the West Coast, you know what I'm talking about because it's on the West Coast. If I say the South, you know what I'm talking about because it's the South. If I, if I say the Midwest, you know what I'm talking about because it's in the Midwest. If I say New England, that could be fucking anywhere. That could be so many places. New Why would Engl- you just call you it the Northeast? You explained it. You explained it though. You explained what New England was. Why are you so uh, uh, in an uproar I'm, I'm, about this? <laughs> but it doesn't make sense I'm, because I'm so sorry. When like, Jackson was like, all right, Jackson, shut the fuck up. When you were doing your thing, you, your video was fucking like choppy. So you were like, it was like, it was like a PowerPoint <laughs> watching Jackson yell. It was so fucking funny. That's so Holy funny. shit! All I'm saying is that if I ask where you're from and you say the South, I'm like, okay, I have an idea of where that is. And I understand there's a culture that comes to the South. 
Because the South for overall is pretty uniform somewhat. New England is so many fucking places. Pennsylvania no, bro, is a, very different from England like colonies. Maine or like fucking New England Connecticut colonies, bro. That's a, that's or all you Rhode need Island. New, you got the New England colonies. They you know what I say? The factories. Then they had the middle colonies where it's like the towns and the Quakers and stuff. But the Quakers are also in New England because of Pennsylvania. <sighs> But in the middle, they had a lot of, like, religious freedom. And in the South, that's where they had, like, a lot of the slaves. You know, we, you learn this in fifth grade history, Jackson. As well as in you know eighth grade saying? history. You know what I'm saying? At least that's that's whenever I learned history uh, through in Kentucky. That's the curriculum. But Don't do it. Don't do it. There's also... It, it didn't hear anything all over Discord. Did he mute himself? <laughs> I think he muted himself. Or I, I hit my mute button. Oh my god. New England these nuts is what I was going to say. New England Yo, everyone put fuck. embed fail memes in chat, please. <laughs> embed fail. <laughs> for those who weren't... No. Oh yeah, we had a, we had a, a listening party for our Patreon. And Jake Patreon and plug! Memes. Hey guys, because welcome on, to the Patreon. Because, on uh, embed failing. because I'm assuming everyone that listens to this will join the Patreon, so welcome. Welcome to the Patreon. What's up, what's up, what's up? I just want to say... Hey, we got... We got a six patron. Get fucked, we did. guys. We're making thirty dollars cool. a month. Thirty get big fucked. Rings. Get fucked. Also, uh, the new episode of the Big Fish Podcast featuring the guy who is to the top right of me on the screen right now, Jackson Burns. And when you guys are super depressed when uh, Don to Two fails to release, you can watch that instead. So just come ten a.m. Go be there Tuesday, <laughs> ten p.m. ES. It's actually unironically really good. I cannot wait for that. I gotta wait to get my dick sucked. <laughs> Guys. Jerry! They're sucking my dick! They're making me suck dick! Kramer, stop saying that. Guys, I got yep. some big news and I Kramer. thought I should tell it here. Alright, New England, what's up? New England, what's up? Old England, how, how you doing? So, Fuck New England! Fuck New England! I'll say it as many times as I need to. New England can choke on my dick. Enough with the New England. Enough with it. Go ahead, Jerry. Not up, only. Jake, what's up? Not not one, but two. Gentlemen, I have had two 10 out of 10 albums in the past few days. Two of them. No way. Not new. No it's, shot. It's ones that have been around for a while, but I've listened to them okay, again. Can and I, I guess? Can I guess? Can you guess? Can I guess? Iridescence? Not iridescence. I got to re-listen to wow. that. Wow. Jesus? Jesus was one of them. Jesus was oh, one of them. Oh, wow. Okay. That was number two. Okay, wow. Okay. Jesus. Ooh. And the other one, I'm going to go... It's not the Clark album, is it? No, it's not the Clark album. <laughs> Penis music. Penis music moment. Yeah. Penis music moment. Shout out to Butterfly um, Power, the most penis music song yeah, ever Yeah, shout out to Butterfly <laughs> That song is so good, though. <laughs> it's a good song. But it's it's penis so good. I, like I, like, I like the part whenever the background singer's coming, it's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, I don't know. What's um, the other one? I don't know. Yeah, I actually The other one? Guys... The Glow Part 2 by The Microphones. What? Really close. Really what? close. However, I've been on that Everything Everything train, and goddamn, a fever dream. 10 out of 10, man. I love that fucking album. Wow. wow. Holy shit. So the that intro, means you have two, two out of your yes. three 10 out of 10s are Everything Everything. Wow. Bro, the intro to that album, breathtaking. I love it. It's so good. Night of the Long That's Knives. That's how I am. Holy That's shit. how I am with Black Midi and C418. The, the the only two artists that have two 10 out of 10s out of my uh, is it? T- I have 11 now, I think. That's fucking crazy. Big fat three of them. I've got the most out of everybody. I have yeah, like you 17 be, or 18, I think. You just, you just be throwing 10s. They're handing them everywhere, out like they're blowjobs at a men's tins. wrestling I'm meet. Going just at everywhere. 18. That's Wherever you go. Just... I know exactly what you're talking about, Jake. Good times. <laughs> Yeah. The, the Brady P is getting repressed. That's like $200. I'm actually talk. so excited. Uh, Jackson, I'm going to buy them all so you can't have any of them. No, that's so messed. That's so messed. Hold on, guys. Wait. I actually, I, um, look like the, I actually look like the Twitch pog when I get really close to this. You look disgusting. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
That's Wait, where's it getting? Where's it getting? Yeah. Oh my god, 2022 worst. I don't know. Face? Bo Bo just Bo just uh, <laughs> pinged me and said that. I'm asking him to send him a link. I'll I'll check on it and I'll later. Guys, Let me look at my 10 out of 10s. I, you, did you guys see my my, my chart? I re updated my chart today. Oh my god, we don't care. <laughs> 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 Fuck you! You were talking about your own talent. Oh my god, we don't mine. care. <laughs> you bitch. You bitch. That's funny, dude. Uh, Hell yes. That's uh, so fucked. Jackson, that how so does nasty. it feel that the how does it feel that the voiceover guy even said you were arguably the worst part last night? <laughs> that was uh, so fucked. You uh, paid someone to say that. That's I didn't pay Who? shit, asshole. He loved about? the content so he sent it to us. <laughs> so fucked. Jackson, I can't wait to see that in the award show. Boy, am I excited! Uh, penis. Can't wait, I can't wait to win worst character again, again. So, guys, in conclusion, <laughs> Jesus is epic, and so is a fever dream by everything, everything. Raw data field train still going hard. Let's go, baby. <laughs> the episode uh, title: Raw data field two. two. That's the that's the electric boogaloo. <laughs> but like, Raw I data love field how, um, two. Electric blue. Jake just randomly texted us the other day, and he was like, did, "Oh no, this was during my my LP." Jake was like, "Did you boys listen to Raw Data Field today?" <laughs> have you listened to Yo Have <laughs> you listened like, to Raw Data Field today? No, <laughs> I haven't. So I, so I can't I, see I have Bad Friday. Did you? How do you feel? How do you feel, Jake? That Fantano put Bad Friday in the worst tracks of the week. Did he? Ah, uh, fuck! Yeah, I didn't did. watch it. That's a big fat L. He did. Well, he's wrong. Yep. That's wow. what I'm gonna say. He's wrong. Yeah, he was like, I don't really like it. And I was like, shut up! Yeah, what a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what does he know about music? Am I right? What does he know what about music? What does he know about everything? music? He a just has British been reviewing group. albums for like over 10 years now. What the fuck does he know about reviewing music? I disagree he with him. Gave Therefore, Little that Pump, means that he's bad at reviewing. He gave Little Pump a, a seven, 7 and Kendrick Lamar a 6. I think my point stands. He um, actually gave Dam a seven. As well, well. Yeah, but in the, yeah, or oh, asshole. But later he said I drop it even lower. In his re-review, he said he dropped it even no lower. No way. Fuck. No you. way. He said that. No way. No way. No way. You, you're lying. You're lying. I'm not. Right now. Not even a little bit. You can't find any of it. Slander and libel. Guys, I think we Ooh. need to kill him. Ooh. Okay. How are we? How well, how are we, are we doing, doing that? How are When's we his next live show? Now? I don't know, guys. This is what this, this is, is a joke, by the way. Time. This is a joke. This is just in case any. We're talking about. Out there. We mean in a no, video game. We mean no. This is very game. backslash SRS. This is serious. <laughs> <Okay>? Backslash. <Tone laughs> <in right. laughs> backslash. Right, this is serious. Wait. Trigger warning. Murder. <laughs> <laughs> Trigger warning. Murder. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. C manslaughter. Content warning. <laughs> Content, content warning talks of a detailed plan to slaughter <laughs> Anthony Fantano. Slaughter. <laughs> slaughter. Slaughter. Slaughterhouse. Would you. I, I think, I, I think before we take him out, decimation. I think we should give him. We should give him um, a, a paper and it has magazine clippings on it and it says destroy Anthony Fantano on it. <laughs> and it's like. Around. And it's like. Destroy Anthony Fantano, and then Anthony it's like Fantano. the, and then the end, the end of the episode is like us skating towards Anthony Fantano to get him, like in Zeke and Luther, where we're skated. We're like skating like, like that. <laughs> that looked like I was surfing. <laughs> if you were given the opportunity, would you eat? You human idiot! Meat? <laughs> no. What, Jack? I said, if you were given, the opportunity, given the opportunity, would you eat human meat? No. No. Sorry guys, hold on. Content you? warning, cannibalism. Content warning, <laughs> my big fat cock. On a fucking g g guys, cast guys. Iron skillet. Content warning. <laughs> content warning. We are going to ask the question of if you would eat human meat. <laughs> I always get so it's so weird when people do Co the content warnings. I'm like, you're just saying what you what it is. No, <laughs> I'm thing. I'm I'm huh? fine with content warnings. Like as long as it's like if it makes sense. But like fucking content warnings where it's like content warning. We've talked about this so many times. Where content like, warning. Content yeah, warning. Yeah. Jay Schlatt. Balls. <laughs> Guys, yeah. this cancel culture shit is name. getting pretty bad. <laughs> Content warning, ammo. I'm so sick song. of cancel culture, guys. Can I get a like and a follow? Can I get an amen? Can I get some <laughs> pussy in my DMs, please? I would love you that. You can't say anything these days. <laughs> Stand up, stand, stand up comics that complain about cancel culture be like, guys, cancel culture so bad. Please, I can't, just want to let you know I'm single. Please swipe right to me on Tinder, please. This is my only bit. I saw a TikTok. It was like, uh, <laughs> my kink bit. is uh, liberal men who look Republican, and I thought of Luke immediately. <laughs> <laughs>
That's I true. saw that same TikTok. And Did it was you? so fucking stupid. Yeah. No, it's I just, saw the, I saw say, a meme after. Find another way to say you're into white guys. I mean, seriously. <laughs> I love the white guys. It was, there was, um, it's, I always find it really funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh boy. Oh, Peter. I, I always find it really funny. I'll, I'll have my, na- I'll have. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm laughing myself laugh. Oh God. <laughs> sorry. Jake's on his fucking. I'm on the giggle. I'm right on now. the giggle juice, bro. I'm hey, the Lois. Juice. Hey, Lois. It's me, Peter Griffin. Hey, Lois. <laughs> our neighbor's a white supremacist. <laughs> it's like Joe Swanson becomes what? a white supremacist. Peter, I, I love the red pill. <laughs> Wait. I love the red pill. And I like, love it's the like red Joe pill. You know, what, you know what Luke sounds like when he says <laughs> that? Luke remarkable. sounds like a South Park character when he says that. I love the red pill. I love the red pill. I love the red pill. And he's like, Joe Swanson's like rolling out, and he has like going he's, like, park, going de- he's decorated. He has decorated his entire wheelchair with like a fucking Con- neo-Nazi Confederate like, propaganda frat flag me- memorabilia. Yeah, just like terrible shit. And he rolls, and he rolls out. He's like, Peter, I got, I got this, uh, I got this meeting. You should, Peter, I went on a deep just- dive on the subreddit, <laughs> and now look at me. Peter, I went to r slash the Donald, and I, I thought it was awesome. You, your word. The category is people who annoy you. I know it, hey, but I don't Peter, think I should say on, it. On Slack watch that South Park before? bit. <laughs> hey Peter, have you ever been on 4chan before? <laughs> kind of crazy shit over there. Kind of crazy. You gotta go, gotta check it out. Like some crazy you ever heard shit. Of, you ever heard of? You ever heard of this guy named Q and Nan? You ever heard of this Black Country <laughs> New Road? He had a controversial lyric about busting to a female celebrity. Let's get this man. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Swanson Joe Swanson's just anti-sex She had Billy up <laughs> I saw uh, <laughs> Joe Swanson's <laughs> anti-sex <laughs> Peter you gotta, you gotta hear me out man you Gotta hear me out <laughs> It was it was Peter a, you need to hear me out Peter Peter, she, Charlie Peter XCX. She, had, she had Billie Eilish style Peter She had Billie, she had Billie Eilish, Eilish style she had Billie Charlie XCX style. I watched the understand. Watched the Good far, Ones music video far. That, see, Peter, this is why we need to shut down the entire Super Bowl halftime show. It's just sexual anarchy. We huh? gotta stop it, Peter. We gotta stop sexual it. Sexual Peter. anarchy. And Peter's huh? like, and Peter's like, hey, what are, I don't know what you're talking about. Hey. He's like hey. laughing. Luke, did you watch the Concord music video? Yeah, I liked it. It's cool. That shit was cool. I thought it was really cool. That's yeah, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty. Uh, pretty. Uh, I'm, What's up? Welcome back to the podcast. What's up? Let's start the podcast, everyone. What's up? Today's episode is sponsored by Coinbase. <laughs> 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 uh, we should right when you say that we should put in the fucking qr code bouncing on the screen <laughs> someone's definitely going to turn that into like a green screen meme yeah probably yeah for sure and then coinbase is going to get more money hey guys welcome back to the good enough podcast today we're going to teach you <laughs> how to, how to trade nfts what's up guys today we're going to teach you how to close the door when you take a shit you know what Sometimes I found out you today? Close is that the door, they open the window. Boom. People will people will buy NFTs before they know what they look like. I found that out today. <laughs> people will buy NFTs funny? before they know what they look like, and they'll bid on them before they know. What I, they don't, look like. I don't know. Or can I say this? They'll know what they look like, but they won't know what they do. Like people will be like, "Oh yeah, like this this is gonna be like unlock a video game character," and they're gonna be like, the "Delay on this what episode do is do? horrible." Like, well, waiting to. You guys, you guys hear about the fucking NFT True. like uh, that gets you into a restaurant? I did hear about that. We need it's to stop talking about restaurant NFTs. NFT. They're funny. I They're funny. love NFTs. I wholeheartedly yeah, support guy. them. Dude, you gotta have some nice dichotomy. There's yeah. gotta be some controversy here. We can't just have just a bunch of straight white people just making the same points. It's boring. Yeah. What are just, we the? Just, what are we the tiny meat gang? Jake, sell me. Jake, sell me on, <laughs> sell me on NFTs right now as the NFT lover. It is, and you can't, you cannot say the same point about uh, don't hate when you can create like okay. you did the other week, guys. When Thomas Edison created the cell phone, he was made a mockery of. <laughs> he was joked on. He was goofed on. He was slapped. He was slapped with a big L cringe loser nerd on, and he put he was put on live stream fails for his. For his <laughs> he got <laughs> ratioed in real life. He got ratioed no. in real life. Now, who's Hassan to say reacted to it? That Beeple, <laughs> he's not the next Thomas Edison. You never know new technology until it hits you like a like a runaway train. That runaway train, it's the one way trip to the future, baby. But you're gonna be running with your suitcase too far behind. So the ones who are getting on early, we'll see you in the future. 
as you rot in the Stone Age. And that was to say you like wow. NFTs? Yeah, because they're the future and they're going to take <laughs> us to salvation. You're not listening well, to my you know fucking I, point? You, yeah, I heard. You, you know what I have to think about NFTs? Huh? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they do, but all that I know is that we're going to the moon. To the moon. moon. We're going to to the the moon. moon. Guys, Elon Musk just tweeted out that Dogecoin is back, baby. Let me invest all my life savings into Dogecoin and we're going to go to (laughs) the moon. Did you guys know the song The Moon by the Microphones is actually a song about Elon Musk and his success? Eating pussy. With a fork and a fork and spoon. It's like Dogecoin. Yeah. Eating pussy and be like Bitcoin <laughs> to the moon to the moon <laughs> to the moon. Okay. I'm like doing the fucking. We, we're just gonna kill him, but with to the moon. We're, we're just, just gonna, gonna kill him. <laughs> that time we're for just, reflection. We're just gonna over. kill him. To the, the moon. Over. Guys, we're going to the moon with this Dogecoin stock. With the NFT stock that you could buy with the <laughs> NFT token. How easy is it to make an <laughs> NFT? Like, if I went tonight and I was like, I'm making an you NFT. You can make a fart. You can make an NFT fart. Yeah, but how easy is it? Does it have to be like some fucking shits. like crazy? We should NFT Does it have to be fart. some crazy? <laughs> is it like some wacky like shit I got to <laughs> put in all of my personal information? <laughs> I don't know. NFT I don't know what the process is like. <laughs> Me after I NFT sex? <laughs> <laughs> me after I <laughs> me after I <laughs> I'm sorry this is terrible Jake doesn't even find this funny no what no if, it is funny what if I make NFT sex NFTs and then every time someone has sex they have to pay us would that be funny <laughs> every time you have NFT sex you go theft. to the moon <laughs> <laughs> to the moon okay I'm clocking out guys <laughs> Jake is gone. <laughs> Alright, no more NFT No, Jake, talk. we need you to make an NFT. Oh, never mind. Wait, what do you have? Pretzels. Food. Yeah, is he in Can I have one? Chocolate oh, they're yogurt covered pretzels. Pretzels. I would like to, I would yogurt, like yogurt to announce pretzels so good. I am successfully underneath 200 pounds. I'm under 200. I'm 199.8. And with that you. said... No. <laughs> Gain it all back. That's the speaking joy of, of life. Um, I can do that in a weekend. Easy. Speaking of, hell yeah, baby, no problem. Um, speaking of losing weight, I've got an issue with white women. I've got <laughs> Don't a we all, issue brother? With white women. That's I, that's so, that I, I, my that school. Something. Yeah, my school has a very small gym. Okay, nothing. It's like nothing to wag a stick at, but it's like not big by any means. Okay, we've got like five treadmills. I would say. That's like almost and 100. I use the treadmill a lot because my dad gives me my workouts and he's like a big runner, so I'm like always running and shit. I walk into the gym. All the treadmills are taken up by white women that are walking. They're walking. They're walking on the treadmill. And I'm like, all right, you know what? That's fine. Maybe they're just warming up or cooling down. I'm, I'll go do something else. I'll let them the other time. 30 minutes pass. And they're all still walking on the treadmill. So don't do that, please. I would like to run. You're not like you're not even breaking a sweat. You're in like day clothes, running on like walking on a treadmill. You just go outside. Like fuck, man. All right. Before I say this, I should I should explain. I'm all for rights. You know, I'm all for like people having rights and stuff. But they gotta go. (laughs) White women are out of here. No, they gotta go. No, white Mm. women are gone. White white women are out. They're gone. I've had something that's been sticking with me for a very long time. My my one friend (laughs) called me an idiot for this and. In my head, I always felt like something was wrong. So, you know when it, it's white women on, uh, like, uh, escalators. I mean, treadmills. It's white women on treadmills. You, you know how, how, how some treadmills, they can, like, do the up, like, thing where you can, like, yeah, elevate it up? It burns more calories, right? Yeah. And it's I, a stairwell. Yeah, I was walking, and my one friend was walking with it, like, at the highest it can go. But he's holding on to it. And he's like, oh, I'm burning more calories than you, Jake. Well, I'm like, well, no, because you're holding on to it. It's you burn that many calories from that exercise because you you do no hands. It assumes you're doing no hands. That's why it's so hard. He's like, no, you're a fucking idiot. It still says I'm losing these calories, but I'm holding on. That's not how it fucking works, right? <laughs> uh, that's not how that works. I don't think so. No, that's not how you're it using works. it as support. Way less work. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so they, it, it, it probably it, it probably like works his leg muscles more, but I don't know if it'll lose more because you're just doing less physically. It's it, that's been fucking me up for years, like literally years. That has been the back of my no, head, that, just like no, bouncing around a, back I, there. I, yeah, piss me off. You should yeah. probably kill him. I guess I don't know. I should. No, I'm all for yeah, murder. After we take care of Anthony Fantano, <sighs> and then yeah. who else game. should we kill? Who else should we kill? Um, let's make a kill list. Like a bad guy. Let's make a, a kill guy. list. No, it, he's already dead. I'm talking about people who are alive that we can do it with our bare hands. Whoever killed that guy is a hero. I'm thinking we've taken Mark Zuckerberg. Let's kill Norm MacDonald. <laughs> Wait, why? No, so funny he's about that? He, cur- he currently... He lost a... Uh, he, lo- uh, he didn't lose. He was in a draw with cancer. Sadly. He l- he lost a. a, he, was a he lost a rock off against Satan, and now he's gone. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> a rock off That's against so tough. Satan. <laughs> a game of chess against Satan, like me on that fateful night. If you if you had to fight Satan in one activity in order to like win your life, like your soul back, what game are you playing? I've Beat. already explained this. I had to do it. I had to play a game of chess, and he made a crazy blunder. Let's play the clip right now. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to oh, do true. that. My uh, my game would be uh, <laughs> my game would be being named Jake. <laughs> oh fuck! Cut that out. I just fucking dox myself. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Jake said his real last name. Cut it. Bleep my mouth too. I don't want any of that shit anywhere. Uh, Get I'll the fuck off my screen Whoa. immediately. Say your fake internet name. Hold on. <laughs> My fake internet name. You would lose. I would it's lose. Not your actual full I name. know. Fuck. Damn. I got. <laughs> you just made yourself die, and I have I not, I'm having to bleep you too. Fuck. The double loser. That's crazy. I, I I died, and I have to get bleeped out on the podcast. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like Jake, <laughs> Jake didn't actually say his real name. He just said like a really like insensitive slur, just really loud. Yeah. Was, yeah. Really. If I had my bleep was real Went on for a, a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should take the it. clip of me so of long. where I say it, but just like stretch it for very, very long. <laughs> like <laughs> put the put the playback speed at like th- like thirty. No, so it's I, like no, it's like one of those like times eight hundred videos. Yes, like, stretch the song out for like times eight hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Also, real quick, you guys, I was hating on you guys, but it is very fucking funny. Uh, me and Tiffany, every once in a while, we'd pl- we'd play the game where we'd be in a restaurant. We both have a headphone in, and we'd play the like hour of silence, occasionally broken up by uh, meme sounds. And good god, it is so fucking funny to do that outside. It is That's funny. so fucking hilarious! Funny. Oh That's my god, hilarious. we were in fucking we're, Panera hey, Bread. We're gonna oh, we're gonna so do funny. it one day on the podcast, just randomly, and people are just gonna have to deal oh. with it. Fucking hour of fucking just like random noise, like what the taped podcast did to me. Well, did to me and we Jackson, should, yeah, right? we, <laughs> Fart noise. Yeah, they didn't yeah, do yeah, anything to me. It's because you weren't cool enough. As Listen. far as you know. I was too um, important. What was it? We should watch a movie one day, to, but like a really serious like movie, but like have the, the vine boom underneath it. Like a, but like, it has to be like a really serious movie. <laughs> Fucking Of Mice and Men. We watch like... Yeah, we we'll have Mice and Men, then like we'll hit like Schindler's List. Guys, we'll I just like, got I just got a, like a really a marriage like, dumb idea. Could you imagine? I got a really... That was a joke, really, really, but could you imagine? <laughs> I got a really dumb idea for the editing the podcast, and I'm gonna ask you live so that people understand the context if we do it. There are gonna be some touch. Can I can I edit it? Shit. So can I edit this podcast to where it looks like it's Hassan reacting to it, but he's not in his chair and he's out of the room? All right, actually, I don't know. That's really That's kind of funny. funny. That's kind of funny. That's like really fucking funny. <laughs> Wait, do you, would, 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 would we have chat going too? And he's not there. Would yeah, chat would, be, chat going too? chat would be scrolling. <laughs> 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 All right, you picked me up. I thought it was just going to be like a JPEG, but if you're getting chat scrolling, fine. No, it's a chat. That'd It'll be, be a video. It'll be, be a video on repeat of the fucking Hassan out of his chair. Surprise us. That's my official that statement. Really Surprise funny. us. Okay. Yeah, I'll, 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 I second that. I'd be down with it, but if not, I'd be okay either. I'd say surprise us. All right. Um. Yeah, I second that. I second that notion. Who knows? I might do it this week. I might do it three weeks from now. Who fucking gives a shit? I'm just going to fucking, I don't know, good enough podcast. What's up? Welcome back. Uh-huh. It was a transition. It, 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 it was a transition the whole time? The Crazy. entire time was just one long <laughs> crossfade. The whole time was a transition? It was one long crossfade. <laughs> yeah, if I, had a, if I had a fight scene and one thing, I'd probably be getting, getting in the women. 
What if we had it? What if we had like a five minute crossfade into a JPEG of like a of like a zoomed in picture of like a dog? And it was like a really dumb looking dog, like one of those meme edits of a dog. And then like a five minute crossfade of our of our volume getting lower and lower. And then it's just the remaining like hour of the podcast is just this still image of a dog. That sounds <laughs> what, hilarious. What made you even think of that? I don't know. I just c- came up with it like just now. That sounds like a great idea that would not make about. anyone upset at all. <laughs> we're slowly getting <laughs> quieter and quieter no one would be disappointed it's like that meme of that kid that um, yeah, goes like this and then crossfades out of existence i love that meme that's such a funny video that is a good meme good quality man i feel like i don't know i feel like memes have been in a weird zone lately where it's like there's not like really like like you know how you can look back on time and be like oh yeah like that was a big meme like specifically like like I don't know, like Big Chungus or like Harambe, like Big Higgs. I can't believe you just said Big Chungus. <laughs> like, like, well, I, was, I know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, that was like, that was like, a, you could, you could point, you could point and look at it and be like, yeah, that was a thing. Like, can you think Jackson of any like Burns recent like memes chungus. that have been like a, like, a, like a big thing like that? I mean, no. no I Did guess any, not. anybody just listen to what the fuck I just said? Yeah, I heard what you said, but you just said Big Chungus as I hate well. You, guys. So. you distracted us, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just okay, saying. I'm trying to think. Like, there's no like big characters, like big character memes, like character-based memes, you know. Um, it's just kind of like big... it's just kind of templates. Pu- puppy monkey baby. <laughs> What's well, not even a meme? It was just a commercial. The greatest meme of 2022. Let's bring that back. Puppy <laughs> monkey baby. <laughs> puppy monkey baby comes back as that was a meme. So not funny. I don't know why I laughed so hard at that. That was fucking stupid. The Puppy entire commercial was a weird cultural moment. Then the entire. Do you guys remember fucking uh, baby nut from the planners? Like oh yeah, dude. Peanut company. Where he died in a fiery baby explosion. Nut. He died. I oh love yeah, that Mr. Peanut remember, died, yeah. and then that baby nut was awesome, awesome, dude. fucking. Died in a fiery Why car crash. Baby nut? Why did they have to call it baby nut? Well, you see, for died. a short amount of time, he was just dead. Like, Baby Nut did not exist. That didn't happen no, no, until the like following Yeah, they were like, yeah, we fucking he killed died him. died in a fiery car explosion. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I would Classic have killed comedy. to be inside of that writer's room when someone pitched that. I oh, would, what was that conversation I would like? quit this podcast and private the caretaker <laughs> video. I would do anything to be in there. Oh, my God. Guys, it's like, can you So you guys know... <laughs> Yeah, so you guys know, like, our guy, like, the only thing that people know us by, we're just gonna kill him. We're just, we're gonna, just kill gonna kill him. We're just him. gonna kill him. Yeah, <laughs> Fuck. I am recording, actually. I'll be done in a little bit, okay? You can keep that in. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day, day Jake, Mom. Happy Valentine's yeah, Day. We're recording this on Valentine's Day. We we all hate we our are. girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> These fuckers join the call. Join the call. Luke's with a girl and Jake's with a girl. But guess, guess hey, what? Hey, no, I got? no. I, got, I have to retain I got, my sexist I got my boy virgin character on this podcast. You didn't hear me say that. He's got headphones on. He's got headphones on. Can't even hear me. We're gonna kiss later. It's gonna be really hot. So you should be really jealous because me and my roommate are gonna be kissing, and it's gonna be like a thing where we are kissing and. On uh, Valentine's Day. Shout out to the 10 people that listen to this podcast every week. I appreciate it. Man. Proud of you. Shout out mom for always being there for me. Shout out to my mom too for finally interrupting me in the middle of this podcast. I was waiting. May have taken 55 episodes to happen, but it finally did. Shout out to shout, sh- shout out to Obama and He's everything cool. he stood for. Shh. Shout out to no one. I hate you all. Damn, okay. Shout out to um, Talking Heads because they made that one song where it's like, Once in a Lifetime. And That's it's a great good. song. I've been listening to it this week. A Beautiful House. And you may find yourself in a beautiful life. Shout out to shout out to Carlbot on Discord for giving me a role and I've been staring at the <laughs> little logo. Okay. Shout out to Reddit. Uh, we did it. Shout out to us for getting to create an outro bit. Shout out to the Needle Drop server. For-
shout out to this outro bit for existing. Shout out to uh, Jake for being on the podcast and having a hot bod. Yep. Shout out. We need to keep going. It's only nah, 55 we, minutes we, we, in. We, <laughs> I feel like we've been no, doing we this for like three days. <laughs> shout out to oh, so fucked. Shout out to Babic for not listening to the podcast, but yet we talk about him for a lot for some reason. Hmm. We do surprising amount. We should we should invite him on and then mute him the whole time and talk with, behind his back. Guys, what what would uh, all right? Here's the outro bit. This this will last us for a while. Here, this okay, this will cool. us. What would we do if we were in a Seinfeld esque situation where in the last episode of, of the Good Enough podcast we all went to jail? What is happening? What what is happening if we all go to jail? Well, I think it's obvious that me and Jake would probably just sell you. Like the second like S- you, you sell know. me. Yeah, like sexually. Like for favors or for fun no like no we would we would like cause we would like be like oh like this is our boy like you could have him for a price i'm i don't know if i could consent to that but i feel like consent is sort of a uh, a false belief in the jail system yeah uh, yeah well we're too far in got it guys really we're care. too far in got it no we <laughs> yeah, gotta keep going. Well, yeah we are literally only we we still have time we still have time Oh boy! Keep going. We are fifty-eight Why? minutes. Why? Just keep going. Fifty-eight Who minutes. Who cares? Bro. If we're on an hour, that's not no. Long. Because Obligated. you gotta you gotta account for the five six minutes at the beginning. We just didn't talk. We were planning. Guys, it's up. Welcome, welcome to the South Trip. <laughs> how about how about I just freestyle? What are you doing? Something? What are you doing in the just situation? No, what are you doing in the jail? No, because I want to know what are you doing in this jail. In the jail, in the in the jail situation, I don't fucking know. Probably like gonna. Here's what here's what I would do. So you you know it was your like, question. You have to answer you, it. I, I I said here's what I'm gonna do. Fucking jackass. Okay, okay. Scott. you're delayed. You're delayed. You're I'm gonna, delayed. I'm gonna delayed. kill you. I'm gonna kill you. That's what I'm gonna do in the jail situation. I'm gonna so take much sexual the little like um, you know the you know the little like a uh, toilet that is like disgusting and gross. I'm gonna like use my superhuman strength to grab the little top part of the toilet. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna like pull it up. I'm gonna like snap oh. it in half, and it's gonna there's gonna be like a little like a giant like piece of metal. And it's gonna resemble like a a a, a, a spear. Almost like a, a spearhead. Okay. And I'm gonna be yeah, holding it with my hand, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be full of like rage and just pure anarchy. Like it's gonna be so sharp that it's gonna make my own hand bleed from the sharpness of it. Right. However, I don't care. I'm just an I am fully primal urge. I'm animalistic at this point. I'm just gonna run up on You're you. You're going crazy. I'm going crazy, and I'm on gonna me. Run up yeah, because you, I said I was going to kill you because you were just being mean to me just now on the podcast, and okay. I'm going to remember this years okay, in advance. Yeah. You know, obvious stuff. I mean, everyone at home knows what, exactly what I'm talking about. So anyway, my hand's bleeding. I'm, you know, I'm just going crazy. I'm like a monkey in just there. I'm like, I'm like a new monkey over there. And fucking reference. I'm going to, I'm going to run up. I'm going to run up to you. I'm going to take, I'm going to take the little toilet spear that I've made or crafted. And I'm gonna fucking stab you in the throat, the heart, the chest, the rib cage, your thigh, your other thigh, and uh, your th- your thigh? heel, your heel as well, because then it's gonna be like Achilles' oh, heel, and it'll be like locations. it'll be like a, it'll be like a funny little reference or whatever. And then after that, you're gonna be like bleeding out, and you're gonna look at me, and you're gonna say, Luke. Why did you do this? Now I'm going to stare down at you. I'm going to say, Jackson, it's because you didn't believe that NFT could go to the moon. And that, my friends, is the Good Enough Podcast. Fuck. (laughs) That fucking sucked.